Okay. Welcome to turning your time signatures. Now, time signatures are how we keep consistent knowledge of what notes are going to play in a measure. And most of the time, what it will tell you is two things. It will tell you the number of beats per measure, and it will tell you the type of note that gets a beat. So let's talk about this. We're going to talk about the bottom number first. Okay. If I took and I took down a couple of these, and I put a one over these. I made them a fraction. If I make these a fraction, then what's going to happen is this bottom number right here okay, is going to be uh, tell us what kind of note gets a beat. In this case, this here is one quarter, so one quarter note gets a beat. In this case, one half, so one half note gets a beat. And we'll explore that a little bit more later. So now, um, we're going to work mostly with the idea of quarter notes for a while, because this is the most standard and, and uh, popular time signature. Now, we can change the top number of the time signature to pretty much anything we want. Okay, uh, let's say we'll start off with the most common time signature out there, 4-4. Four, four. Okay. That means that there are four quarter note beats per measure okay, in between two bar lines. Okay. So 4-4 four, four gives, us, gives us one, two, three, four beats. So now let's say I, w I wanted to change that to two four. Well, still working with quarter notes. One, two. And that's it. Then we have another one. Another measure will start right here. There'll be a bar line. And then another measure will start and so on. In this case, we only have we have one, two, bar line, one, two. We can do anything, any number we want, but let's, just to get a visual, let's do a 6-4. We've got one, two, three, four, and I have room, five, Six. So each beat consists of one, two, three, four, five, and six. And you have six quarter notes per measure. Four, five, and six. And that's how we work out these time signatures. Okay. Now, quarter notes are not the only ones we can do. We can also do half notes, as we said before, or we can even do one-eighth note. So an eighth note. That can also be our beat. So let's try a couple of these, just so we can build these together. Let's start with three-eighth. Now, you notice up on the top that what I did is I put a different size box. The box that is on this side Right here is a quarter note. The box that is on this side is an eighth note. So we're going to take three of those and put them in line. There we go. And there is a measure of three eighths. Then there will be a bar line and another measure of three eighths. Now, this can also be done this way. We'll put the bar line in. Or something that we can also adjust this this way because we have one, two, three eighth notes. In a quarter note, there are two eighth notes. So you have one, two, three. So you can balance it any way you want. Now, if I took out the notes here and I took out the bar line, this would change 
instead of 3, we would now have 6, 8. 6, 8 is the most common uh, eighth note measure there is, or eighth note time signature there is. So there's our six eighth notes. So three, four, five, and six. We can even go so far as to take it up to nine, and that just means adding a couple more in. Two and three to give us seven, eight, and nine. So that's how time signatures work. we got to figure out what type of note gets a beat, and then the number of beats per measure. So let's do a little bit of calculations with this. Let's pick our base one, four, four. We bring down four beats, two, three, four. And now what we can do is we can start filling this in with different rhythms. So we have quarter note, which is our standard beat. We can also do two eighth notes. We can do a quarter rest. Or if we want, we can kind of split it up and do two eighth notes that way. So that's a nice clean way of adding some notes into 4-4. Four, four. If we want to do 3-4, again, three boxes or three beats, we can put paired eighth notes in, we can put quarter note in, we can put quarter rest in. Okay, all of it fits. So where it gets tricky is when we start to do something like 6-8. I'm going to put 6-8 down here. I'm going to drag six of these down. Oops, uh, two, three, four, five, and six. So now the six eight, obviously we can fill it with six eighth notes, very simply. But if you notice something, we can also fit some quarter notes in here. A quarter note there and a quarter note there. In fact, we can even put a quarter note here. So there are six eighth notes in there. They're just mixed into these three quarter notes. Typically, if you see three quarter notes like this, you're actually going to be in three four, not six eight, if you see the three quarter notes. However, if you see a couple of eighth notes here, and maybe get this out of the way. If you see something like this, three eighth notes and then a quarter note and an eighth note, that typically is going to be a six eight rhythm because the eighth note is what dominates the landscape. There's more eighth notes than there are quarter notes. So realize the difference in between those. They also have what's called dotted notes. Now, dotted notes, um, and pull a three eight here. And so we've just got three eighth notes. One, two, and three. Do this. Now a dotted note, dotted quarter note, like this, is a nut is a quarter note plus an eighth note. And it's gonna take up all of that room. So this would not be here. If you deleted this would stretch out and go all the way through this beat. So it would take up the whole measure. Now in 6 8, you can actually have two of those. So, two, three, 6 8, we can have that there, put a dot on it, and let it extend all the way through. Now that is a typical 6-8 rhythm. So that is an introduction to time signatures. It's just remember the two key things. And that is the number of beats per measure and what type of note gets a beat. And then just build them accordingly.